Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we'll be performing the GAL screening test, which rapidly assesses for musculoskeletal abnormality. It stands for gait, arms, legs, and spine. To begin the test, you ask the patient three screening questions. First, do you have any pain or stiffness in your muscles, joints, or back? No. No. And can you dress and undress yourself without any difficulty? Yes. Good. And can you climb up and down a flight of stairs without any problems? Yep. Very good. Please could you uh, take a few steps in that direction and then turn around and walk towards me again. Yeah. Great. So you assess gait and steadiness, check for smoothness and symmetry of movement, and also check if the patient can turn without any difficulty. Thanks. Inspect the patient from the front, check for presence of muscle wasting, asymmetry or deformity. And then from the side, check for normal cervical lordosis, thoracic kyphosis, lumbar lordosis and for any hyperextension of the knees. And from the back, check for normal spinal posture, level shoulders and pelvis, asymmetry or deformity. Now with two fingers on the patient's back, can you bend over try and touch your toes? And as you can see my fingers separated there and back up again. Can you bend back for me? And up, that's great. And now with your hands on your sides, can you bend all the way to, to my left, yeah? and the other way, and uh, that, that's great, yep, yeah? and relax. Could you take a seat on this couch for me? And with your arms out like so, can you move all the way to your right and left? And relax. And now can you turn your head to the left and to the right and back in the middle? Can you try and touch um, your right ear onto your shoulder and the other way as well? Great. And can you look um, all the way down, make your chin touch your chest, yeah, and all the way up. That's great. And now can you open your mouth all the way and close it. Can you do this, side to side, and relax, that's great. Please, can you put your hands behind your head like this and push your elbows all the way back? That's great, and relax. And now can you try and scratch your back like that? That's great. And can you take a seat on the couch for me? Can you bend both your elbows like so? Yep, and show me your hands. Now you check the patient's hands for swelling or deformity, squeeze the metacarpophalangeal joints to check for inflammatory joint disease. Can I see the other side? That's great, can you make two fists? Two fists, yep, squeeze my fingers. That's great, and relax. And can you do this, suppose your fingers and thumbs? And relax. And now with the patient on the couch, I'm just going to uh, bend your legs if that's okay. So just let them go completely floppy. First, uh, this is passively flexing the hip and knee joint, and each time comparing with the other leg. Thanks. And now externally and internally rotate the hip. Same from the other side. I'm just going to bend them up again now. This is to assess the integrity of the collateral ligaments. Relax. And relax. And lastly, you lift the legs straight up to check the lumbar restriction. Thanks. Finally, we inspect the soles of the feet for swelling, deformity, or calluses and we perform a metatarsophalangeal squeeze to check for inflammatory joint disease. This concludes our tutorial, thank you for watching.